Camo Korean from last time. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, so uh, he uh, attends the show uh, like I do through American Tackle. So we obviously we want to hit this uh, show like hard. So, but yeah, you doing all right, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Just Wait. beating people. I got, finally met Roland Martin over there. Got a picture yeah. with them. Uh, just making connections with other companies and stuff. I actually have to hit some up in a, in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to talk to you, man. They definitely want to talk to you, that's for sure. Um, I do have a video coming out soon, guys. We hit the econ, and uh, y'all going to see that soon. Uh, this guy's this guy is pulling out the fish that I keep missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, yeah, you guys should check it out. It was a awesome catch. Yes. You know, totally unexpected. And what was weird is I've seen it beforehand. That's up river. Oh wow! Oh, so he swam down river, and you caught up with him. Said, uh oh. More or less, you know. <laughs> the fish stalker. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right. So we're checking out the show. We're just enjoying everything. We're making connections, talking to people, and. Yeah, so, all right, guys, stick around. We'll see what else we can get into. All right, guys. So Z-Man, chatterbaits are your favorite. Yes, out of all bladed jigs or vibrating jigs, Z-Man is my favorite because their design, the way with the hex blade mm -hmm. and connection to the head itself, it's just the perfect thing. Now you have so many different versions, Project C, uh, Elite versions, the original, Micro, Mini, Flashback, they have so many different types, even the Willow Vibe with the small willow blade mm -hmm. they all produce different vibrations noise chatter whatever you want to call it but just going through the different ones that i've used i've used the jackhammers mm -hmm. uh, they also have a stealth blade which is a clear blade and it's plastic instead of metal all so right. it puts off a different sound of vibration too okay. it's more subtle but it's very good for using the clear water and then these project z's these are a heavier version so mm -hmm. it's for like deeper water. I do have one model of it and I have caught a lot of good sized bass off of it, but it's not really a go-to thing because it's just too heavy for a lot of Florida water. All right. But my main go-to one is just their original. The chatterbait. original chatter yeah. chatterbait? What are your favorite colors? Black and blue, chartreuse, and uh, purple. Okay. Um, they don't have a purple version here. I know they do have a skirt because I do have one. It's a June bug color. Mm -hmm. They do got your black and blue over here. Yeah, a lot of times I'll use that for uh, nighttime mm -hmm. fishing, but mm -hmm. it'll work in the middle of the day too. Oh. Sometimes they won't go after a natural color or a chartreuse pattern, but they'll hit that black and blue. And black and blue, a lot of times they'll resemble more of a, like a bluegill color. Okay. You know, darker colors. I wonder, what, like at night, I wonder, like, what's going through the fish's mind when they do see like a black and white are they, i guess they're oh, seeing no, the flash. they don't see anything they just see the movement or they feel it they got a lateral line mm -hmm. so this lateral line picks up where this bait is and what's unique about it is this lateral line it'll tell the bass how big the bait is where it's coming from where it's going if it's prey or predator and uh um at the size of it yeah yeah so and this is this guy's favorite yeah. lure, man. So it's, yeah. it's something's working. Oh yeah, something's working. So yeah, that lateral line is is what's telling him. It doesn't matter what color it is, then. No, not, at night, not really, unless you have like a full moon or a lot of like street lights around mm -hmm. the area. But uh, color really doesn't play a factor. To a point, yes, uh, darker colors will put off a darker profile, a mm -hmm. silhouette. So say if uh, a lot of bass are ambushed, so a lot of times they'll come up to attack. You know, they're hiding uh, in the foliage, vegetation mm -hmm. and all. And they'll see that, and in the sky, you know, you have the moon shining down. Mm -hmm. So if you had like a white pattern or a clear pattern, 
it won't produce a, as dark of a silhouette as a dark, you know, like a black, blue, purple, even a green pumpkin. Okay. Uh, brown also works. So usually, if you work in, in a lighter nighttime area, mm -hmm. like a more visible, I would go with darker patterns. Okay. But during the day, you could go through all of just play and see what works. Not all bodies of water are the same. Right. Some colors work better than others. You know. So. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for the info, dude. Yeah, definitely. That always helps out. This guy, he, he's got it together. So I listen. You know. So. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need. You need somebody to. Giving you to all my secrets. <laughs>